Well, once upon a time, two brothers who lived on adjoining farms fell into conflict. It was the first serious rift in 40 years of farming side by side, sharing machinery and trading labor and goods as both brothers and friends. Then the long collaboration fell apart. It began with a small misunderstanding and it grew into a major difference and finally exploded into an exchange of bitter words followed by weeks of silence. One morning there was a knock on James's door. He opened it to find a man with carpenter's tools, with a carpenter toolbox. I'm looking for a few days of work, he said. Perhaps you would have a few small jobs here and there. Could I help you? Yes, said the older brother. I do have a job for you. Look across the creek at that farm. It belongs to my brother. Last week, that was a meadow, but he took his bulldozer to the river levee and has created a creek between us. Well, he may have done this to spite me, but I'll go him one better. See that pile of lumber curing by the barn? I want you to build me a fence, an eight-foot fence, so I won't need to see his place anymore. I don't want to look at him or his farm. The carpenter said, well, I think I understand the situation. Show me the nails and the post hole digger, and I'll be able to do a job that pleases you. James had to go to town for supplies, so he helped the carpenter get the materials ready, and then he was off for the day. The carpenter worked hard all day, measuring, sawing, nailing. About sunset, when James returned, the carpenter had just finished his job. The farmer's eyes opened wide and his jaw dropped. There was no fence at all. The carpenter had built a bridge. A bridge stretching from one side of the creek to the other, a fine piece of work, handrails and all. And just as the older brother was about to give the carpenter a piece of his mind, he saw his younger brother running toward the bridge, his hand held out. You are quite a fellow to, bridge, to build this bridge after all I've said and done. The brothers met in the middle, middle of the bridge, first taking each other's hands and then breaking into a hug. They turned to see the carpenter hoist his toolbox on his shoulder. No, wait, stay a few days. I have a lot of other projects for you, pleaded the older brother. I'd love to stay on, the carpenter said, but I have many more bridges to build. Isn't that neat?